Pascoe is our competitor from New Zealand. Uh, he's had a rough journey in arriving at this point. He comes from Christchurch where we've had all the earthquakes, so he's been rather nervous about his training. He's put in many hundreds of hours in New Zealand getting up to speed with all of the aspects. Today's first day in the project, he's comfortable where he is at. Uh, we live in hope as we have a gold medal and only time will tell. The object of the Manufacturing Team Challenge this year is to come up and design a Minimoto motorbike. It's got to be electrically powered to minimise noise and pollution. All the teams um, have to design their own bike, make their own drawings. The things that they obviously are allowed to buy are the wheels, tyres, batteries. Anything else, they've got to manufacture and design themselves on site with the materials provided to them and also the machines that we have on the section. We got a week. <laughs> We're now in the restaurant for the 10k challenge, the endurance. The Dutch have asked if they can compete, well, just to show that their bike is capable of doing it. We asked all the teams, the team said absolutely, we've been with us all week. The spirit of the games, let's keep them in, in here so they can just say they can do the endurance and take part in it. Mechatronics is a field that combines uh, the traditional skills of mechanical and electrical engineering with the information technology and it's basically anywhere where machines are controlled via a computer or by a computer. I was a competitor in 2005 in Helsinki in Finland and now the new role as an expert so I can get the whole picture of everything and uh, I really enjoy that. The competition is usually four days. What we decided to do here is it's a three-day competition and on day number four we make it a team event. We divide these 20 competitors into two teams. So they get blueprints, we built a cannon this year. They have to sit together and talk now in 20 different languages. Yeah, we just finished the last part now, so now we all got to assemble it. We're just going to finish the threads now. Okay. Hey. Hey. These are proper tool makers. They are class acts. They are the best in the world at their profession. And we would call them first professional people. a well is taking two pieces of material or more and making them one. One of the biggest achievements I think in my life would be if I, if I was in a garage somewhere in 10, 15 years time and some young fella came up to me, took me on the sleeve and said, do you remember me? I was at London. I went to the World Skills Competition, I had to go on that jig. I really liked it, so I came into the industry. Because there'd be a lot of kids coming into this, this whole area, they bought North and South Halls, 
and they won't know what they want to do. They'll walk away and they'll be truly, truly inspired by something, whether it be catering, whether it be hairdressing, hopefully auto body repair. I'd love more and more aircraft engineers and, and maintainers and so on and so forth. Because I believe that when, when I was younger, a bus ride was like new, but now aircraft flight is like the bus ride of my youth sort of thing. You're, you're a poster girl as well, is this correct? We told you that? I've seen it on the way in. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen those posters a lot. So, um, She's everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, how are we coping with fame? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was all on the first day, and now, like, all the experts and the translators and stuff keep coming up to me and asking for, for autographs and pictures and stuff, which is a little bit weird. I've only said yes to pictures, I refuse all <laughs> The Irish, or I'd say the Australians, the Swiss, um, the Americans, are usually up in the top five or six. But till the last day when all the marks come in, it's, it's till the horse crosses the line, as they say, you don't know who's going to win there. The kids will see all this and they'll be just blown away because they, they get to see real people doing real work. I've been in this business 20 years and never have I seen such talent that I've seen here. Under the pressures these guys are on, the world is watching. So these guys are stars in their own right. They're awesome. They're rock stars. Did one of the fellow competitors do your hair? No. My, my girlfriend's a hairdresser and it was red, but it's been washing it. It's now pink, right? It's red. <laughs> sure. The test project uh, of this competition here in London is the half part of the Tower Bridge. They have to manufacture it, this test project, inside the working time of 21 hours. Seven minutes! Seven minutes! Four minutes! Four minutes! Last minute! Last minute! How are you anyway for getting most of it done? The last bit, the two bridges, with the time, just, just dragged everything out of me after three days. For the last three days working, just emptied the tank. Everywhere you look, um, you walk outside into the food area where you buy your food. Um, most food is prepped on something that's made by a sheet metal worker. Um, air conditioning, heating and ventilation. Uh, our trade, people don't understand how vast a trade it is. Thirty seconds! female competitor is very stressful for me because I feel that uh, most of the guys are very strong and they have more strength than me which is some uh, some machine is too heavy for me to handle yeah but I in the end managed to do it well so I'm happy with my result to do well in creative modeling you have to think in three-dimensional when you see the technical drawing in two-dimensional you must work very precise and you must feel creative modeling. You must feel the design. Um, this is my first time visit London and I'm very excited and very happy, especially the cold weather. It's very nice because Singapore is always very hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>